Hello Disney fans, back once again. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. Right now we're talking about a very interesting thing as we're walking through, that's right, the Indiana Jones right at Disneyland. Um, so one of the interesting things is the whole plan is to make the whole ride brighter. So it's going to be very interesting to see as you're walking through is that they didn't plan on making the hallways and everything else brighter as well. You know, because there's been a lot of stuff where people say they fell and stuff, walking, waiting in line and stuff. Some Usually you don't have to wait in line a long time on Indiana Jones. Most of the time, sometimes it's almost just a walk through straight to the ride it's been. And it's kind of exciting. Anyway, so Disneyland, you know, very exciting as they're, Rude wanting to make some of these dark rides brighter so people can see more. There's a lot of rides that they plan on doing that on, um, such as Peter Pan. And I can't remember the rest of them, but Indiana Jones being picked as one of the big ones. Um, like I said, this has always been, I've always enjoyed going through the walkthrough to the ride, just kind of the darkness and how the caves, everything looks so cool. Um, definitely has turned into Definitely a classic ride for Disneyland now. Um, and one of the interesting things is, you know, there was a lot of talk about them changing the whole thing, you know, so she's shaking the thing, you know, the spikes, how spikes haven't worked in many years now, unless they fix them and they just keep breaking. I don't know. Um, but Disneyland has definitely done a great job. If you want something relaxing, there's nothing like going on the Indiana Jones ride and knowing it. Pirates of the Caribbean's right around the corner. The Jungle Book's right there. Wherever you guys, sorry, Jungle Cruise, whatever you guys are feeling the need to go on. And then Haunted Mansion's not that far away either. Um, the Indiana Jones ride, you know, is definitely a lot shorter of a ride. Um, people have been complaining for many years that it's just way too dark. And, I mean, yeah, I could see that. Um, I've always enjoyed the rope you pull in and then the guy screaming, hey, no, no. Um, but, you know, the whole talking thing, uh, the little video they show how you're going to get on the thing I thought was really cool. Uh, the first time I ever went on the ride um, really, you know, changed the whole look of it. Because when I first went on the ride, there was no YouTube. You didn't look up to see what the rides were. So it really put a different perspective on your trip to Disneyland. Knowing you don't know what the ride even looks like or anything. Unless you had a family member or somebody who brought back footage of what the ride looked like. So going on to Indiana Jones and seeing the little video playing and them explaining the whole thing. Don't look into the eyes and stuff. Really was made me wonder like what's this going to be like. Um, Because you know a lot of people are familiar you know pirates you hop on the boat. Haunted Mansion, you walk for a little bit and then you get in the little doom buggies and <clears throat> Jungle Cruise, it's a boat. So, you know, a lot of difference to Indiana Jones. How cool it is you get to ride in a vehicle and get to hear the whole, you know, spiff and everything story about what to expect. So, and, you know, the whole looking into the eyes and stuff, Indiana Jones. Definitely. I mean, it'd be interesting if they had a second Indiana Jones ride to Disneyland, but hey, yeah, I'm happy with the one we got. Uh, one of the other things I do want to mention is the car and everything, you know, it is bumpy and it's not a very long ride. I think it's like roughly maybe two minutes for the Indiana Jones ride. Um, you definitely spend more time waiting in line than actually on the ride. Um, I definitely thought Disney did an incredible job knowing that they brought the guy from the Annie and Jones movie to do the little video and explaining, hey, watch out. And if you look into the eye, you know, and the guy just turned into a skeleton and they just they delivered such a good job with it. And one of the interesting things I will say is, as you know, we're looking right now at the ride. It is very dark. Um, I've actually been in here before where it's actually been like daytime looking. It's been very bright. They had a lot brighter lights, but hey, times are different and stuff. You know, some people used to, Disney cast members used to joke and say the reason that the Indiana Jones stuff is so dark is to save on power for Disneyland. But hey, anyway. One of the interesting things I will say is I do remember when the ride came out, uh, how nice, how cool it was. Disney had 
all those awesome t-shirts that you to buy from the Indiana Jones ride. It were just for based off the ride, but now you can no longer get those. Um, but anyway, walking through, you know, there are certain parts on getting closer and stuff. The ride does get brighter. And like I said, I do do some videos where I do show if you guys are interested in seeing um, the little cards that they gave out back in the day. I know Disney reissued them on a little thing you can buy. And that way you can go through the ride reading all the different stuff that they put all over on the Indiana Jones ride. So kind of a little bit of fun thing. I know a few people have done it and stuff and love the clues and stuff and wondering, hey, what are we going to see next? Um, really brings a lot of excitement to them in a lot of ways. Um, but one of the other things I will say regarding this ride, SARS, Indiana Jones, is, you know, the, the different pathways you can pick. Um, this ride usually always breaks down for one thing. It seems right before you get to the rolling ball, oh, we're breaking down again. But anyway, uh, one of the other things I will mention is you know so you're looking at everything it's supposed to be a lot more brighter than it is because most of the videos and stuff people watch they're like hey it's not very bright i mean there's some stuff like the lightning and stuff looks good in the dark um and remember people sitting at home don't look into her eyes because you don't want it to get zapped away even it's coming from the tv but the indiana jones was definitely something different like right now we're just in the dark here waiting for some flames and stuff to show up. Um, but the snakes, all the different uh, stuff, like I said, this was a very, very dark ride. So, And I heard they're going to be adding some new things to the Indiana Jones ride. I don't know exactly what they're talking about, but they said from the snakes, uh, there was even talk of a giant spider, apparently. So... Then it'd be interesting because, you know, Disney's planning on refurbishing so many rides in a big way and making them all sorts of, like, really cool. And I'm just looking forward to seeing, you know, the Indiana Jones not so dark anymore. Um, like Pirates, Pirates it was usually said it always a really dark ride and they made Pirates a lot brighter in certain areas. And it's really made people a lot more happier. Um, especially the part on the right, since you're going through, and, you know, they're trying to shoot the arrows and everything at you, um, back and forth has definitely sometimes has been really dark. Um, like I said, there's been a few times been on the Indiana Jones ride and it's totally just lost power. Um, but interesting enough going through and I hopefully this will make people like the ride even more. Hopefully the lines don't get longer, if you know what I mean, for this Indiana Jones ride. But hey, uh, brighter to mean a lot more excitement. And, you know, adding some other changes should get a lot more people, like I said, more excited about the ride. If you guys have any questions about your favorite parts of any of the rides, leave some comments down below what you guys think is your favorite favorite rides that they brought in to the Disneyland park as well. And yeah, this is older footage and stuff. So anyway, as we're waiting for the rock to come, obviously I think this is one of the times that the ride did not break down. There's a boulder. Um, you, there's one time it, it broke down and we waited for, I was in a say, close to an hour waiting for Disney people to come back. But that's not usually they're really good about getting people off the rides quick when they break down. So you guys want to see more stuff on Disney rides and more talks and stuff. I'll be back with more videos. Thank you for standing by and watching. I'll see you guys on the next.